I'm sure you can identify this image. Well, this is Mount Everest, the tallest natural structure in this world. Now see, here we have the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. This is the tallest man-made structure in this world. So, how can we compare what is natural and what is man-made? Natural, you saw, was Mount Everest, the tallest natural structure in this world, whereas the Burj Khalifa is the tallest man-made structure in this world. So, how can we define what is natural and what is man-made? Well, natural are those which are existing in or which are derived from nature. So, Mount Everest has been existing in nature since ages. But the Burj Khalifa has been recently created by man. So what is man-made? Man-made is anything that is made by humans and which does not occur by natural process. So man needs to give his input in order to build a man-made structure. So we come across many materials in our day-to-day -day life. Some might be natural, some might be man-made. But how can we surely determine as to what is natural and what is man-made? Well, let's take this example. A tree or wooden logs, are these natural or, natural or man-made? Well, these are natural material because a tree or a wooden log you can find in nature. But a paper bag or a wooden chair, can you find this in nature? Well, no. These are made by humans by obtaining natural material like wood. So a paper bag, a wooden chair are not naturally found. Therefore, but a paper bag or a wooden chair. Can you find this in nature? Well, no. A paper bag or a wooden chair is made by humans by obtaining a natural material like a wood. So man can modify the wood in order to make paper bags, wooden chair. Therefore, these items are known as man-made materials. So let's define what is a man-made material. A man-made material is made by people in factories and industries by using some natural material. And these are known as man-made materials. So even for making man-made material, you need to use materials from the nature. You need to modify them. And hence, the materials which are made after the modification will be known as man-made materials. Man-made materials are also known as synthetic materials. So let's study some of the very common man-made material that you and me come across in our day-to-day -day life. First, tell me this. Do you see these type of mud houses in cities? Well, these type of mud houses are still found in villages but not in cities. These are made by using natural material like clay, mud and soil. But in cities, we find buildings like this. What are these buildings made up of? Well, the buildings in the cities are made up of a material known as cement. So is cement a natural material or a man-made material? Well, cement is a man-made material. Tell me why? Can you find cement naturally in the nature, in the surrounding? Well, no. Man needs to obtain certain natural material from the nature and create the cement. So, cement is made up of three very important material like limestone, which is a rock, which is a natural material, clay, again, which is a type of a rock, and gypsum, which is a mineral naturally found. So, cement is used so cement is made by man by using these kind of natural materials and hence we can say cement is a man-made material because man modifies the natural material in order to make this. So where do we use cement? Well cement is used as a mortar in order to bind bricks and stones in the use of construction. Now there are two types of cement, one concrete another reinforced concrete cement or RCC. How is concrete made? Concrete is made by cement by mixing another natural material like sand and these are used for construction of pillars. Reinforced concrete cement contains concrete along with that 
iron framework is used in order to make the structure even more durable. So another common material that you come across is glass. So is glass a natural material or a man-made material? Well, can you find glass naturally in the surrounding? Well, glass is made by man and hence it's called a man-made material. What is glass? Glass is made by man by using some natural materials like silicates and sand. So, so silicates and sands are combined together or solidified together to form the glass. So glass is made by solidification of a liquid material and hence it is called a super cooled liquid. Different chemicals can be mixed to this mixture of silicates and sand and you can obtain different kinds of colored glasses. So colored glasses are made by mixing certain chemicals in the mixture of sand and silicates. Another example of a supercooled liquid is plastic. Even plastic is made by cooling of a liquid mixture and even this is a man-made material. Plastics are polymers of synthetic or semi-synthetic material. So in factories and industries, a chemical is repeated many times and joined together to form polymers or repeating structure of a chemical. So these are combined together and cooled in order to form plastics. Now let's study about another man-made material, the soap. Well, in earlier days, soaps looked like this. In earlier days, soaps were actually blocks of solid plant and animal fat which were used as soap. But do you find these kind of soap in today's world? Well, earlier the soaps were natural material because those were not modified by man. But nowadays, the processed soap and detergent which you use are man-made material because these are made by man in factories. So, soaps and detergent used nowadays are sodium salts of fatty acid. That is, a chemical is used in making these items. Therefore, this is again a man-made material. Now, in earlier prehistoric times, cavemen used to make such paintings by using natural material like plants, pigments, stones, etc. But nowadays, the paints, enamels used by men are man-made material. These are no longer the natural pigments used by the prehistoric men, but the, ma but the paints of today are man-made material which are used to cover surfaces of wood, metals and other objects. So even paints and enamels are man-made materials. Another indispensable material in our life, the medicines. Well, do you know in earlier days, Plants and animal extracts were used in the form of medicines. There were different herbal formulations which were used as medicines and in those times, these medicines were natural. But nowadays, the medicines, the tablets, capsule which we consume are all man-made materials. These are no longer plants and animal extract, but these medicines are made by pharmaceutical companies in the factories and in the labs. So, Different kind of medicines are available now which can cure different type of diseases. Another very important material in our life, the fibers with which clothes and different garments are made. There are different type of fibers, either natural or man-made. Another very important material in our life, the fibers. The fibers are used to make clothes and different garments. Now there are two types of fibers, either natural or man-made. Natural fibers are those which are obtained from plant or animal extract, like cotton. Cotton grows on plants, therefore the cotton fibers are natural fibers and the silk that you obtain from silkworms. Even this is a natural fiber. But the fibers which are made chemically in the laboratories and factories are called man-made fibers. Like the terulin, nylon, these are all man-made fibers. So these fibers are now popularly used in textile industries. So today we have learned that
that there are two types of material natural material and man made material in nature there are many different natural material which man uses or modifies according to his needs in order to make the man made materials 